I always put these in my back pocket lens caps because then it's uh, if I ever need to quickly put the lens cap back on, it's just in my back pocket. No, uh, no harm, no foul. <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it weird to be eating eating chicken, rice, beans, and corn for lack of better substitution at at uh, seven seven twenty one for breakfast? For breakfast, this is even leftovers. I I, I cooked this up today this morning like a few few hours ago not even a few hours half an hour ago I cooked this up and I'm like mmm tasty I don't know is that weird you tell me okay so I've got this um, project coming up because this is technically my first project as a as a uh, cinematographer and photographer and it's really really exciting I'm <laughs> I'm pumped start shooting on Saturday which is today's Friday that's tomorrow so I've got to get ready got to get all my stuff ready I've got my Ronin DJI SC my pride and joy my gimbal for my small mirrorless cameras like the M50 and the M6 Mark II this uh this thing works a treat such a treat and I am definitely I've been planning to do a video on it for the longest time, so uh, let's, uh, you know what, I, I think, I think we'll save it actually, I think we'll save a video about this, even though it's like a few years old now, I mean, still a great gimbal, I think this came out in like 2019, 2018, still a great gimbal, but uh, not the video we're going to be doing today, uh, but I definitely do need a check, I've got all the pieces and bits and bops, in here otherwise when I get to set and I open this up and go oh, I'm just I'm missing like the one screw I need to make this whole thing functional and just that would suck that would suck very very much but today we're not talking about the Ronin SC in this vlog uh today hold on okay so today we're talking about the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 now I know that there is the DJI OM4 or Osmo Mobile 4. Uh, I didn't see the need to get spend the extra 50 bucks to get a magnet. I didn't see wasn't no, just I didn't want to. And there we go. There we go. There, that's it's that's it. That's tiny. Look at that. It's it's just I mean, when folded up, it's so much more transportable and also little arms are just flopping. Sick. Okay, so this is the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Yeah, I had the second generation and it's it's great. It's it was it's awesome. I loved this one. Loved. But there was a lot of gripes I had with the Osmo Mobile 2. For one, uh, the arms when they were just when you weren't using the gimbal itself, the arms would just be flopping all about. Just so this, I, I didn't like how the arms just flopped around, and I didn't like the setup process or the the, the pack down process. And I didn't, I just didn't like how big it was to transport. Like in comparison, I mean, this there's no comparison at all. I mean, just look at that. That's just. This is infinitely more portable than this. I got the combo pack, which came with the nice hard case. Transport your Osmo mobile needs. And uh, also came with like a tripod mount that you screw to the bottom of your Osmo mobile and you've got a little stand. You can just, you can just stand it up. Acts as a second handle, grip handle, nice. It's great. I love this this design, this the functionality, the ease of use that anyone can have stable cinematic footage now. Anyone with a phone, preferably an iPhone, because iPhone, iPhone 10, no 10s. Don't judge. It's a nice phone still. Let's just let's set this up. Cool. I mean, this is just, and then you can go from portrait orientation to landscape with a click of a button, or well, two clicks of a button, really, and just, it's, 
it just it's fast to set up it's easy to use get low shots get smooth shots running you can track pan and then the app has so many more features that i won't go into right now it's just it's so much easier you've got the trigger on the back just like the dji ronin sc the arms lock in place when you're not using it just like the dji ronin sc hold on let me just let's just uh, screw that back on so if you want to grip to grip the gimbal or extend your grip of the gimbal you can use the little three prong foot as also grip handle so one thing about gimbals if you've used a gimbal before is that the setup times can be really really just drawn out long and kind of tiresome because you gotta set the gimbal up get all the pieces in place get the mount plate attach it to your camera get your camera attach it to the gimbal and then balance the gimbal because smartphones are all basically the same size give or take and same weight give or take the mobile 3 and the mobile 4 and even the mobile 2 they all just they all just work you, you strap your phone in and it's great Ugh. okay so you're probably wondering why are we talking about a mobile gimbal vpop if you so you're probably wondering, Vpop, why are we talking about a mobile gimbal when you've clearly shown us you've got a full-fledged gimbal for DSLR mirrorless cameras? Well, that's because, because I've been a strong believer, and I've said this before, and I'll continue to say it again and again and again. It's not about the gear you have, it's about how you use the gear that you already have. If that didn't make sense, rewind, take a shot, play it back, it'll make sense. <laughs> yes, I do have the Canon. M6 Mark II which shoots at 4K, 24, 4K, 30, 1080, 120 and has a 30 megapixel sensor granted it's cropped but 30 megapixels nonetheless none, none the, 30 pick, 30, it's got 30 megapixels that's, that's the point and yes I've got the DJI Ronin SC to mount this camera on and I've got a Marriott, Marriott? is that the right word? I've got a plateau, I've got a fleet, I've got a gaggle of camera lenses to choose from. I've got my 11 to 22. I've got my 15 to 45. I've got the 16 millimeter f4. I've got the 50 mil f1.8. I've got a 22 millimeter f2. I've got all these lenses and I've got all these cameras, but I don't carry all this stuff around with me all the time, everywhere. What I do carry around, however, is my phone. And now, because of how compact the Mobile 3 packs up into, in that little cute box. I'm going to be carrying that around all the time too, so I don't have to carry a giant gimbal with me. I don't have to carry my lenses that were very expensive and my cameras that were also equally just as expensive. And if I ever want to film something, I can just pull out my phone, strap it to the gimbal, and we're good to go. Bob's your uncle. Where's your aunt? Just, you're getting cinematic footage on your phone. So if you've got a phone, get a gimbal, any gimbal really, it doesn't have to be the DJI Osmo Mobile 3, Whew, that's a mouthful, I'm glad they shot it down to OM4 in the next iteration. But if you've got a phone and a mo gimbal, phone gimbal, you can be making cinematic footage all day every day. And to prove it, I'm going to do it today in this vlog with the gimbal. Going to go on a hike, going to try and get some nice sexy b-roll and just show you what's possible with a phone. I think that was pretty good. I think the footage that came from the phone that was being cradled by the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 was pretty good. Now, I wasn't just using the default camera app, I was actually using an application called Filmic Pro, which is kind of like a manual override for your video camera. So you've got lots of apps that give you manual control of your photography camera. This one gives you manual control over your video camera. 
It's not a free app, but it is really nice. It has log modes, it's got histograms, it's got your saturation. You can change your saturation, your shutter speed, your ISO. You can't change your aperture, that's fixed in. But you've got your zebra stripes, you've got focus peaking. You've got a lot of features in this app and it's really, really nice actually. Super nice. But what's great about Filmic Pro is that it talks to the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. It is such a hassle. I'm just going to call it the Osmo Mobile. No, just going to call it... Call it the phone gimbal. <laughs> What's great about the app is that it talks to the gimbal that the phone's being cradled in and you can actually change certain settings in the video just using the gimbal. There's also the DJI Mimo app which I use to take a few panorama photos which I will display right now. And there, yeah, they, they turn out pretty well. The gimbal did a lot of the work. It's pretty cool. Now, something I did notice while editing the footage is that when shooting at 24 frames per second, which was basically the whole small section, the beginning section of this little cinematic sequence you just watched, all of that was filmed in 24 frames per second, and I turned off image stabilization in the lens, which means the phone didn't do any image stabilization, the lens wasn't doing any image stabilization, it was all the gimbal. Now, with that being considered, I think the gimbal still did a pretty good job, but I would recommend keeping image stabilization turned on. Just will help you smooth out your footage that, that little bit extra, but once I switched it over to 60p, still no lens stabilization, looked really smooth, but that's also because slow motion makes everything look pretty smooth. In the corner of my best friend's sofa, you were getting by some rum and cola, wasn't brave enough yet just to talk to you. And that is how you can use anything. Just a smartphone and a gimbal. That was a, what, $189 to get stable footage. Two cinematic sequences for the one vlog. I think that looked pretty good. They turned out very well. I showed you two examples. One, filming someone else and your environment around you to create a cinematic sequence and using techniques such as shooting through things, using different lenses because my phone does have two different lenses and using the gimbal to get more creative, stable, steady, cinematic shots. And another example of me making myself dinner. By myself, in my own home, with no help. Just a gimbal, which also acts like a tripod. Because of the feet. It's so, so handy. And I think that's definitive proof that you don't need the best gear to create content. You don't need big cameras and big gimbals and big rigs can just use your phone. So have a good night, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. And uh, I think we'll just, um, I think we'll just end it here. Like, I'm eating and when you vlog, things become 10 times slower. You understand. Peace.